He's got it. There he is. Oh, he swam out. That's a big one. That's a big fish. I don't think it's a sheep's head though. The way he swam out of that bridge was crazy. If it is a sheep's head, it's a stud. Come here. All right, all right, don't go back to the bridge. Don't go back to the bridge. What's going on, y'all? We are out here today, back on the Hobie Pro Angler, and we are heading out to some bridges to do some sheep's head fishing, but I got a pretty good episode planned for y'all. We are gonna be using the Krusty Crab to target sheep's head. I've had a lot of people recommend that I try this lure on the channel. I will show y'all more about this lure a little bit later on. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is get in here and see if we can locate some sheep's head. Once we find the sheep's head, we're gonna swap over to artificials, see if we can catch them. Starting to get to see our bridge here in the distance that we're gonna be targeting. It is a foggy mess out here, which we get a ton of this early spring. We're like, I believe it's March 8th today. So yeah, a lot of foggy weather early spring. It's just what we got to deal with. But yeah, that's the bridge we're going to be targeting there in the distance. And we're going to start off by dropping down some fiddler crabs. All right, y'all, we got a healthy bucket of fiddler crabs right there that we went out and caught. So we're going to be tying those on, dropping them down right here. I'll talk a little bit about the setup I'm using in a minute. Let's just see if we can get some first. Think we might have one on. Yep, fish on. There we go. Oh, it's a flounder. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> right. Well, the first fish is a dang flounder on a fiddler crab. Come on, dude. Y'all check that little guy out. About a 12, 13 inch flounder right there. Beautiful little guy. Let's see it. It won't be long now and the flounder will be coming in really, really thick. And we are actually gonna start pumping out some flounder content for y'all. So if you like catching flounder, make sure you hit that subscribe button because there will be a lot coming in the future. Got one on. There he is. Oh, that was a decent fish. That was a decent fish. All right, let's get back in there, see if we can get him to bite again. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. Mm, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Don't run in there. Come here, come out, come on. Drive him backwards. That is a good one. Oh yeah. Great pools. And that is our first sheep's head right there. And it is not a bad one at all. Put the net under it. Boom, boom. That right there is an 18 inch fish, y'all. All right, well there it is. This is our first sheep's head of the morning. Not a bad guy. I mean, he is just thick too. Go ahead and pop her on a measuring board. See what she goes. That fish right there is 18 and a half. Not a bad fish at all. We'll get a real quick picture, get a release on her. And uh, yeah, we're gonna drop down. We're gonna try to catch three sheep's head. Once we catch three sheep's head, we're gonna swap over to the crusty crab. Try to get them on the artificial. All right, girl, we'll see you. Bye bye. On to the next. I'm gonna drop back in, try to find us another one. But the, uh, the size line that I like to use is 15 pound test for sheep's head and fishing like this. But I have been told a bunch of times in the comments that my line is extremely too light. And to me, I just enjoy fighting these fish. And I don't, I don't want 40 pound test or something crazy that I'm just wrenching these fish out of the pylons with. So y'all let me know in the comments below, what do y'all like to use to catch sheep's head? What size line is best for y'all? Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Oh my God. That's a stud. That's a stud. Don't go back towards the bridge. Don't go back towards the bridge. Don't go back there. Please be a sheep's head. It is giant. 
We just hooked a giant, y'all. Oh my goodness, what a fish. This is only our second one, and it is an absolute beast. Don't let that hook pull. Oh, come here. Come here. It's, oh, I think that's a black drum. I think it's a black drum. Nope. Is that a sh Black drum. This is a black drum. Well, this guy fooled us. Thought we had a sheep's head. And it is a black drum. Third species on the morning. Man, I thought I had a good old sheep's head. You got me, guy. You got me good. I'm going to try to get a real quick, easy release on you. Y'all check that fish out right there. That is a puppy drum. It is a kind of like a juvenile black drum. When these fish are younger, they got stripes on them just like sheep's head and have very similar habitats. It is not uncommon to be sheep's head fishing and catch these guys as well. Bye bye. Those are actually really, really good eating as well. I've had a lot of people tell me that some of the best tasting fish out here is juvenile black drum. I think we got one on. I think we got one on. Oh, missed him. Oh, he's on it. There he is. Oh, that's feeling like a sheep. That's pumping like a sheep. And a good one. Come here. Oh, yeah, big sheep. Good one. Come here, dude. All right. Well, there she is, sheep's head number two. That's another 18, 19 entry, y'all. Yep, right there. 18, another 18 and a half inch fish. All right. Bye-bye. One more sheep's head, and we will be moving on to the Krusty Krab Lure. So check it out, y'all. I got a major favor to ask y'all. Okay, I am at 27,000 subscribers right now, and I am trying to hit 40,000 this year. I need all of y'all's help to do that. So please go over, hit the subscribe button, and help me hit 40,000 subscribers this year. All right, let's get our third sheep's head. He's got it, he's got it. There he is. Come here. Oh, yes, yes, big one. That's a big one. Come here. Good digs. Oh, they're getting bigger, y'all. Come here. Third sheep's head. There it is. All right. I don't think she was ready for the net. Come here. Come here. Let's go. In the net. Boom, y'all. They are fired up. We have only been out here for about 20 minutes and we have caught a flounder, a black drum, and three sheep's head all on the fiddler crabs. Y'all, check that girl out right there. If I have not told y'all before, these are my favorite fish to catch. One of them anyways. Flounder and speckled trout come in ahead of these, but third favorite fish for sure is sheep's head. They really, really taste good too. Where I'm fishing, we are allowed to keep 15 of these and they have to be 14 inches, I believe. I'm not keeping today. I do enjoy a little bit of catch and release fishing. Um, I'm blessed enough to be able to fish a lot. And when I want fresh fish, I can come out there and get them. This guy is eight, another 18 and a half. They are cookie cutters out here. Every single one of them is about the same size. But I'm blessed enough to be able to, uh, to come out here and do this pretty often. And so I don't keep a whole lot of fish unless my wife and I are just really in the mood for some. But if you've never eaten sheep's head, they are some of the best tasting inshore fish around. All right, girl, I do appreciate that bite. 
and we will see you next time. Bye bye. So the setup that I was using with the Fiddler Crabs is a Pin Battle 2 combo. Very inexpensive combo, around 130 bucks. I have 15 pound suffix 832 braid to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I have a number four split shot weight on today with a number one Gamakatsu octopus hook. Amazing hooks right there. All right, so we're about to swap over to the Krusty Krab, but check it out. If y'all like this type of content and y'all wanna see me use more artificial lures to catch these sheep's head, be sure to get this video to 1,000 likes. If this video reaches 1,000 likes, I will come out here with lures and all sorts of stuff that y'all have never seen before. Get this video to 1,000 likes and we'll come out here and do it. All right, so this is the Chase Baits Krusty Krab. Uh, they come two to a pack for about 10 bucks. I got these on Amazon, have a little weight underneath it. Feel like a pretty sturdy sheep's head hook right there. Um, this was the only color that they had available on Amazon, uh, but they do come in other colors. I don't know that the colors gonna matter that much, but yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. We'll see how it swims in the water. Water is kind of dirty right now, so we'll be real interested to see how this does around this bridge. We know that the sheep's head are stacked in here. We caught several fish in a very short amount of time. We've lost some fish, so they're here. We're about to see if this bait catches them. I have covered a ton of bridge span i think this is my third row right now and i have not had a bite on this lure yet so i don't know it ain't looking good right now i'm just kind of giving it some light twitches too trying to work it close to pylons maybe if i added some scent to it it might would help i don't have any procure on the boat right now but we're gonna keep on trying all right, I'm gonna swap over to a voodoo shrimp. This is like a two, two and a half inch. I believe it's the smallest one that they make. I have caught sheep's head on this in the past. So I'm gonna see if I can get them to hit a voodoo shrimp. The crusty crab did not get any love. I may go back to it, but I wanna see what these sheep's head are doing. He's on. Oh! Well. <laughs> oh, that was my only voodoo shrimp, but I just lost it. Oh my God, he had me right there in the pile, and that felt just like a sheep's head thump. Son of a gun! Well, alrighty then. All right, well, we're going to go back with Fiddler Crabs. We got a bunch of those. I don't think that crusty crab's going to get them. I threw on a couple of pylons over here with that voodoo shrimp and then popped it in right here like one time and got nailed by what I believe to be a good sheep's head. I just believe that that crusty crab is not a, uh, not a good sheep's head lure. I've never used it for anything else, so maybe it works better in the marsh for redfish or something like that. Uh, I'm just not feeling it for sheep's head. He's got it. Swim with it. There he is. Come here. Yep, another sheep. Get around the front. Yeah, they are just stacked around this bridge. I am going to go on record to say that the crusty crab from chase bait is not a sheep's head lure because they're here and they are fired up they're definitely chewing this morning earlier we caught three sheep's head of flounder and a black drum on the bridge in about 20 minutes we immediately switched over oh she choked that hook we immediately switched over to the crusty crab and threw it for about 40 minutes or so and didn't have a bite then we swapped over to the voodoo shrimp. See you girl. Swapped over to the voodoo shrimp and almost immediately 
got whopped, broke off, lost it, tied a crab on, dropped it down right there, same set, and boom, our fourth sheep's head. But that's just the way things go. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. It is really important to me that I just kind of keep it honest for y'all so y'all can make the best decisions for you to be able to go out there and catch these fish. My channel is all about trying new things, trying to think outside the box, how to get different fish to bite. I love targeting fish on artificial. If anybody has watched my channel for a while now, you see that most of my fish are caught on artificials. That's really how I would prefer to catch them. But today, it just ain't working out. So we're gonna to continue to throw these crabs and see what happens. Oh my God. Okay, okay, hold on. Dang it. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. There he is. That's a good one. Come here. That's not feeling like a sheep's head though. I did swap rods because this one's already rigged up. It is a sheep's head. That's why it was feeling a little bit funnier. It's a sheep's head. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Yes! That's a 20 inch, I believe. Y'all check that one out right there. I don't think it's going to go 20s. Got to be close to 19, though. Yeah, 19, 19 and a half, y'all. What a fish. All right, 19 and a half inch fish. Bye-bye. There is no shortage of fish out here, but check it out. I want y'all to comment real quick. Where are y'all from, city and state? We're starting to get a whole lot of followers, people commenting, and I love to learn more about y'all. So just comment below, what city and state are y'all viewing this channel from? He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he let go of it. Come back. He had it. He's got it. There he is. Oh, he swam out. That's a big one. That's a big fish. I don't think it's a sheep's head though. The way he swam out of that bridge was crazy. If it is a sheep's head, it's a stud. Come here. All right. All right. Don't go back to the bridge. Don't go back to the bridge. Come on. Yes, sheep's head. Stud. That's a big one. That's a big one, y'all. Come here. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a big sheep's head, y'all. Holy moly. That is the biggest one of the day by far. Whew, that fish had me dead to rights if he'd have swam that way. Instead, he kind of came out and I got his runs kind of out of his system out here in the open. Man, these are the types of guys that have been breaking me off today. Y'all look at that stud of a sheep's head right there. These jokers are so fat in here today. So fat. I'm gonna pop this girl on a measuring board real quick, let her go. Yep, that is a 20, 20 and a quarter inch fish right there, y'all. Holy moly, what a catch. All right, beautiful fish. All right, so our last fish went 20 and a quarter. What a way to end the trip. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did coming out here and catching these fish. This is always an awesome place. It just holds a ton, not only just a ton of sheep's head, but just a huge variety of fish out here. But anyways, if y'all would hit the like button if you liked the video, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.